All right. I think I got the camera centered there pretty good. So what's going on, everybody? I wanted to talk about some advanced squad leader. It's been a little bit since I've uh, highlighted it here at Epic Fox. So I wanted to go ahead and get back on track while I have the next few weeks off of work and have some available free time here. So what we got down in front is, of course, Yanks. This is module three. It's a core module of the advanced squad leader system. And what I have here is the newer edition that MMP released a few years back, and there is quite a few differences from the original Yanks. So if you are looking for or shopping around for a version of Yanks, the core module, I would highly recommend getting a newer edition because it's going to save you some bucks overall in the long run if you're trying to collect as much material as you can, as well as uh, it's going to have a lot more scenarios in there, a whole bunch of other stuff. So we'll go ahead and get right on into it. So uh, what this is going to have aside from the original version is you're going to have the paratrooper supplement that's going to be included in this. So that's one big thing. And you're also going to have 25 additional scenarios compared to the original uh, 16 scenarios that was in the old Yanks. So you're looking at a total of um, a whole lot. I didn't do the math beforehand and so yeah but there's a lot of scenarios in this and it offers even more replayability to the asl system and of course it's going to introduce the entire orders of battle for the american forces that were involved in world war ii so if you are interested whatsoever in using any form of yanks american soldiers then you're going to definitely need this module to proceed with your hopes and dreams for this system but it's going to uh, have, like I said, the entire orders of battle. And there's going to be five different squad types, the half squads, leaders, all the varied vehicles, ordnance, support weapons, crew counters. Basically, it allows you to command every type of combat unit in use by the American Army during that theater of the ETO, excuse me. So there's obviously, there's going to be a separate uh, uh, module for the Pacific Theater, which we'll get into here in another video. I do have a couple other modules to review here. I got the Last Raw, West of Alamein, uh, Rising Sun, Armies of Oblivion, a couple others there. I don't want to give away everything, kind of keep you in some suspense there. But uh, back to this one, there's also going to be your Chapter H in here, as always. And that one is going to be 24 pages. That's going to have detailed notes on guns and vehicles, et cetera, et cetera, all that stuff. And then there's going to be eight map boards in here as well. There's going to be 16, 17, 18, and 19. And then there's map board 24, 40, 41, and 46. And um, that's going to help you play all the scenarios included in this as well. So um, there's also 25 out-of-print scenarios renumbered and rebalanced in here. And they all include existing errata, and uh, that'll help you like this. There's some misprints in there with uh, counter counts, orders of battle, and so a couple of the other scenarios. That's about the extent of the errata that's needed with this game. So it's not too extensive. They, you know, they for the most part, MMP does a pretty good job on on putting out accurate and complete material. So that's one good thing about them. And, uh, of course, this is not a game that you can purchase and play by itself. You're going to need the ASL rulebook and Beyond Valor um, along with this if you're hoping to use Yanks. So um, I hope you've previously gotten that point from other of my videos. Otherwise, I must be doing something wrong. But we'll go ahead and go into the box and see what there's going to be in there. And, of course, there is going to be the MMP packaging slip right here. And as well as the errata that I've already mentioned to you briefly. And then you are going to find the Chapter H, the vehicle notes right here. And that's going to start off with page H31. And it has the three ring binder. So you can slip this right on into your Advanced Squad Leader Rulebook binder if it's not too fat already. And you can see there's just going to be a whole bunch of uh, ordnance here. I'm going to go over this briefly here. But... You know, you got M2A4 light tanks, M3s, uh, the Honeys, the Grants, all sorts of stuff. Um, and, yeah, there's the M5A1 down there at the bottom here in the ordnance notes. And on the back of these are also going to have the 
you know, these statistics, form, rate of fire, armor, attributes, everything else that you're going to need to know. And then you're going to go on and you'll go through many different versions of the M3, M24, uh, M5 tanks here. The Allies just put out so many different versions of those those vehicles here. And, uh, you know, you move through the medium tanks, the Shermans, and uh, eventually the tank killers. You have the uh, combination vehicles here with the mine, exp mine rollers and everything else. So there is an extensive amount of information that you're going to find in this chapter H, just like every chapter H. These are very good to sit down and read if you're into the equipment and ordnance and vehicles in World War II, whether it has, you know, whether you're interested in trucks, half tracks, the armored vehicles, um, you know, the anti-aircraft guns, anti-tank guns. Um, you're going to have a lot of information that's going to keep you busy for years just reading and learning about new things. So uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble there flipping through the pages when I'm holding them in front of the camera here. But, uh, you know, you're also going to have scout cars. Like I already said, you many, many different versions of half tracks and the weapons that were mounted on those as well. So you got scout cars, reconnaissance vehicles as well. So it's nothing new to ASL players. You're pretty much used to having everything. And this is what this gives you for the Americans. This gives you everything you could pretty much possibly hope for. You know, there's other expansions and everything else that's going to add more in-depth uh, specific regiments, divisions, etc. And um, But, you know, those are things that you can piece together one by one after you get your core module for Yanks. Uh, you're also going to have your rarity charts in there as well. So you have your vehicle rarity, your ordnance rarity, and a few others in there. And that's going to help you design your own scenarios, if that's the sort of thing you're into for tournament play or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so the Chapter H to me and all these modules is very entertaining to read and review. Like I said, it just, it, I, you know, I just can't get enough of this kind of stuff. And ASL does it in such a way where um, they can pretty much fulfill all of your World War II wants and needs. Uh, just from these modules themselves. So it's good stuff. Look at that stack of scenarios. This is what you find in Yanks. This is a huge stack. It's 41 scenarios, I believe, is what the total count was. But um, you're going to have all sorts of different fronts involved here. And uh, just the different locations that you may find. Um, there is, you know, there's going to be scenarios from Sicily in here. Uh, Carentan, France, Belgium, and Germany. Um, there is, you know, just a wide variety of scenarios and options to play. You should definitely not be getting bored of this module anytime soon. Uh, this is one of my favorite scenarios right here, ASL Scenario 184, and it's Death at Carentan. Uh, and it covers the actions around 10th of June, about the 101st Airborne Division. So... There's a lot of good stuff in these scenarios. Uh, like I said, there's a whole lot of them. There's over 40 scenarios. I believe the exact count is... Let me see if I have it written down anywhere here. No, I don't see an exact count there, but it's a lot. It's over 40 scenarios. And they've been reworked and rebalanced compared to the first edition. So it's just another reason that this... Uh, second version of Yanks is the way to go, and I do believe that it's still available at MMP's website, so I would highly suggest picking that up while you can, because this is one of those modules that once it's out of print and unavailable from that website, the prices seem to skyrocket way high up there. It's just not worth waiting around and procrastinating. If you know you like squad leader or advanced squad leader, don't procrastinate on this. I think you should go ahead and get it. Um, I myself have experienced some difficulties acquiring other modules that particularly interest me. And I'm fortunate enough to where, you know, a reasonable expensive price isn't a tremendous barrier to me, but I still won't jump on the ludicrous price markers that some people ask. So anyway... Back to this. Pick it up while you can. It's hot, and uh, there is just a whole bunch of good stuff in here. 
you will find a little bit more besides the Americans here. We're going to actually get into that right now. And we are going to take a look at the counter sheets that come in here. And the first counter sheet that we're going to look at, you can see it doesn't really have any Americans on it whatsoever. But you're going to have some new markers that are going to be included in this, as well as some more amphibious landing vehicles, stuff like that, that you've already seen in the uh, core module Beyond Valor. But then up here in this top left, you're going to have some more German units, and these are all going to be SS units. You can see they're pretty, they're pretty uh, amped up there. They have uh, 838s with a um, superscript of three next to their attack value of eight. So you know those are heavy squads, and I'm excited to get those out and punch them and get them trimmed and get them on the board here. So. Back to the one of the reasons that I've been delayed in getting some more ASL scenarios out and on video is because, well, there's just so many counters to punch and trim. And along with a bunch of painting projects that I have going on, it can be kind of difficult to divide up the time, you know, to get them all done here. So uh, I have completed punching and organizing Beyond Valor and uh, all the starter kits, stuff like that. So I'm gonna be doing some scenarios here starting off soon. Uh, my friend that I was trying to get involved in this, it just wasn't his thing yet. He's a new war gamer. So I'm gonna start him off with more simplified things, excuse me, and try and work him up to this. He is interested in it, but this is just a little bit over his head. I have a hard time teaching players from scratch. Um, that's just not my thing. It's not my best skill set. So. You know, hopefully if I can get him involved in other games first, work his way up to more complicated ones, sooner or later we'll be playing some, some multiplayer here online. Anyway, back to the counters. We're going to get into uh, the U.S. counters, and right here you're going to have a bunch of the artillery and guns over on the left-hand side. You're going to have some more aircraft um, top and bottom there. It's more amphibious landing craft, some rafts, and some assault vehicles, etc., going to have a whole lot of glider units for those glider landings taking place in the ETO. And then we will move on to the next page of counters, which is going to have some more miscellaneous uh, target acquisition markers, some concealment markers, and then your smaller, you know, your Jeeps, um, your half tracks, trucks. Um, let's see what we got over here. Having a hard time seeing some of that stuff. It has, uh, yeah, the M16 half tracks, M3 GMCs, uh, the LVTs right here. Um, not seeing, yeah, it's a lot of LVTs here. Do have a couple M4s down here in the bottom where my thumb's at, but. And then it looks like uh, by the time we get to the four sheet, now we're getting into some of the armor here. It looks like we got a bunch of Shermans, Grants, Honeys, uh, some more half tracks with some anti aircraft, uh, mortar half tracks, a whole bunch of stuff, tank destroyers. Let me see what this is right here M18, yeah, M18s. So, and then there's your mine roller vehicles right there, your Shermans with mine rollers. A whole lot of stuff. And then uh, afterwards, you get into a lot of the infantry. And you are going to have your artillery crews right there where my thumb is. And then you got a whole heck of a lot of leaders in this area. You have a 10 Neg 3. It's not too bad. And a couple rookies down here where my thumb is. Down in my bottom thumb, I should say. You have tank commanders below them. And you have a whole lot of infantry. You can see these are 346, 236, 236. These look like half squads. So, and then you have their heavy weapons, satchel charges, flamethrowers, mortars, a whole bunch of different stuff. Good stuff. Here's your full squads. Looks like your elites are going to be 747s right here. Uh, below them, 747 elites, more 747 elites. Then you're getting into 667, 666, 666, 546. Down here at the bottom. And then we're moving over here to 536s. And then you got a whole bunch of half squads there as well. A lot of half squads. 
So <clears throat> that concludes all the counters that are included in Yanks. Uh, it's, you know, it's not as many as what's in Beyond Valor, but of course you're only focusing on one faction there, the Americans. So that takes care of that. Now we get back to the boards here and you can see you're going to have several boards with these big, thick waterways that are going to provide a lot of fun and use for those rafts and amphibious, uh, assault vehicles and all sorts of different things. But once again, these are the geomorphic maps where you can put them together regardless and they'll always match up you can pretty much grab two there any any time any of them and put them together and they're going to match see that so those are always blasted to have to create your own scenarios and the quality of these maps is getting better mmp uh, right now on pre-order they are offering map packs for pretty much i think there's two packs that you can buy that will give you every map available ever printed uh in the asl system and they're redone on this heavy card stock here so for those of you that have been using the old paper maps and you know that you wanted to upgrade to these maps without having to buy the modules and everything else you can go on mmp's website right now one of them is on pre-order so you can get it at a pretty good price i think about 150 dollars the normal price is i think over 200 dollars for those map packs so if you have a chance and you're able to do that, I would highly recommend that. Uh, you can see here, you're gonna be adding new things in on these maps that you didn't necessarily see in uh, Beyond Valor. So you're gonna have the Bocage hexes as well as uh, some other things there. You can see you already got some trenches dug out here and some of these are goalies where the bridges are crossed and stuff like that. So uh, there's new uh, terrain features like this right there over there. My index finger is not sure what that is. I'd have to look that up there. But uh, in the ETO, there was, you know, a lot more unique terrain features as opposed to the wide open plains of Ukraine and Russia, stuff like that. And uh, we'll just take a look at a couple more of these maps. But there is a bunch of them in here, like I said. And I was looking for another one with a big waterway on it. Might have already passed it, though, while I was blabbing up. See here, here's a good farmland one, probably used for airdrops in there, into the fields. And we got one more map, map 18. And this is going to do it. You can see you're starting to throw in a lot more unique features on the hills and elevation ups and downs, bocages on the elevations. Uh, it's good stuff, I think. So that is a look at Yanks ASL module number three. Like I said, it is available right now. It's not out of print, so I would highly recommend going out and getting it if you're into ASL and you don't have it already. Uh, once again, the newest edition is the one that's available at MMP. That's the one you want if you don't have a Yanks version already because it's going to include a lot of the out of print material like paratroopers, a whole lot more scenarios, the errata has been corrected, stuff like that, and new balance on all the scenarios. So anyway, that's going to do it for uh, Yanks. Thanks for joining me once again for my ASL series. And uh, I got several more of these modules to show you here over the coming days. So let's get them out of the way so we can start playing. Anyway, later on, guys, stay safe.